What's going on guys? Clutch here once again. Welcome back to Farming Sim 19. Uh, big release of the mod hub today guys. The old stream farm. You may remember it from Farming Sim 17. Kind of a classic map. A quintessential map for Farming Sim 17. Has made it with way to 19 now. Finally. Been waiting for this for a little while actually. And so excited to see it here. Oh easy. Relax. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah some things are the same. But a lot of things feel just a little bit different. Just a touch. It all looks really good though, I'm not going to lie, it looks fantastic. I uh, really can't wait to dive into this map at some point. Anyways guys, let's uh, go take a quick look around. I'll show you the main farm area. And uh, we'll just take a quick look around the map and see what you get. Alright, let's pitter patter. Clutch simulations. All right, guys. So welcome to the old stream farm. This is where it all begins for you right here. This is the main area, main farm, your main starting point. Yeah, take a quick look around. Just don't look too closely behind you. There's a nice big pink bird drawers right there. You may want to avoid those. Um, yeah, so this is where you start off. Now, everything looks very similar, but there's a level of detail that seems to have been added that uh, was missing in, in 17. Now, 17 actually was one of the higher details, just bringing it up, porting it up to 19. They seem to have added quite a bit of detail to it in my mind. Maybe I'm forgetting things, but it does seem like it looks really good. Uh, one thing is, a little bit new here, we can actually go in our house. It's an interesting look. Um, not my personal taste, but hey, whatever. We got a little garage over here where our truck was, we parked. Um, our main entrance right here, but we can't open this door for some reason. Oh, Open all, in, all the other doors in the house, just not that one. And then, upstairs, we got a couple bedrooms. Um, yeah, okay, interesting design choice. And same over here. <laughs> Look at the lights. And finally over here we've got, yeah, an interesting little bathroom. I'm not quite sure how much water this uh, rain's going to catch. But uh, anyways, <laughs> some awesome artwork. Uh, yeah. Hey, whatever. Kind of feels like it's been decorated by Ikea in here. <laughs> um, so that's your house. Now, obviously we are in new farmer mode. Uh, this comes with the whole farm. And this here is what you will get if you start with any mode other than new farmer. So this here, the, the main farm area, as you can see, completely disappeared. So because of that, I would highly recommend that you use New Farmer Mode on this game. It was designed originally for it, so why not stay with it? Uh, this farm was really designed for this map. I would recommend you use it, but I mean, of course, if you want to design something your own way, by all means, have at her. Um, so let's take a quick look around this main farm. We're going to leave this up, obviously, and take a quick look around it, because it does seem to have pretty much everything minus one thing. One thing that's going to be missing, and that's because, well, it's a 17 map and not a 19 map. Um, we're going to start at the very back over here. You can see we've got some sheds. All these doors open up, which is kind of nice. There we go. You can see we've got our storage areas back here. Uh, we've got some more sheds available, of course. All the fields that are back over in this area, you can see. I'll bring up the mini-map. There we go. You can see uh, I'm looking down towards fields 2 and 3 right now. Uh, yeah. And as I rotate around, this one here is field four up on the top. So these are all fields that we own. We start off with these in this mode. We have a little dirt path that kind of leads in behind the farm here and up to these fields. And then all the way down over there, you've got fields five and seven. And then up in front is the smallest of the fields. We've got field six. It's kind of right in front of the uh, the house there. I'm going to run up there quickly and take a look. And we'll balance up over here. So this here is like the smallest of the uh, the fields. Right out in front of the house. So that's field six right up. Or field, yeah, field six. So that's it for the fields that we start off with. But quite a bit of fields. I mean, it's a good, you know, almost a quarter of the map, I would say, uh, is already owned by us. Now, as well on this farm, we start off with pretty much every animal type. So we've got chickens, which are right in here. We've got a little bit of a chicken coon here. It's kind of the smallest of everyone you've ever seen. Um, so that you could stuff your chickens in there. you got a trough on the far side here for feed. 
which is interesting. I don't really know how they would get the food out of there. But anyways, that's where the, the uh, chickens go. On the far side over here, this is our pig area. I believe this is pigs. Yeah, there we go. So this is the pig area right in here, guys. We've got a bit of a pig pen. Needs more mud, doesn't it? Looks pretty good. So that's pigs. Uh, this one down here, where is this? This is the sheep down here. Yeah, so our ordering spot is just on the other side of this gate. Let's see our sheep. And this here is their pen. It's actually a little bit bigger. We got a bit of a pond in the middle. Got some ducks swimming in the pond. That looks great. Fantastic. And then uh, let's go over and find our cattle. Now the cattle should be just on the other side over here. It's kind of the opposite field. And this here is the main milking barn, I should say. Uh, you can see we've got some milking apparatus there. Inside this room, you've got a bunch more equipment. Uh, the milk pickup point is right here. And if we run through this side, you can see here is the main cow pasture area. Not huge, but it does look good. And there's kind of a gate that separates it, so I believe we can order here. Yeah, we can order our, our cattle here. For some reason, I thought we could order in here. Yeah, we can too. So uh, there's two different kind of cattle areas. It's kind of interesting. So you can order down, I believe, off this gate here as well. Yeah, right down in here. So I guess it's technically two different cattle areas. Uh, they both have their own feeding trough. Be aware of that. So if you end up getting a bunch of cattle and put the, trough, the feed in the wrong area, I'm not sure yet how that's going to behave. Especially if you have this gate closed. I mean, open the gate up, I guess the cattle could technically go back and forth, but I don't think they would. Because that would totally separate that as two different, um, two different paddocks. So just be aware of that. Kind of interesting. Anyways, yeah, that's uh, kind of fascinating because I don't even know where the milk would go on this one if you had that set up. I don't see a spot for it anywhere. So just be aware of that. Might have to do some testing with that, actually. Kind of interesting. Um, the only thing we're missing on this map is a horse corral. We have nowhere of putting horses on this map because, well, FS17 did not have horses. So you're going to have to do something along those lines. If you want to have horses, you'll have to figure that out. Actually, we're going to on top here, can't we? There we go. That looks great. Well, there is our main farm, guys. This is, like I said, new farmer mode. Still highly recommend you use it. You got your silage pits back over in that area. They all look great. And uh, you can kind of get an idea of where our fields are for now. All right. So that is our main farm. Uh, let's go take a look around the rest of this map. All right. So we got our truck. I do find this interesting. So there is an invisible wall I'm hitting right here. I can go past the spot right now. However... Let me spin this thing around here. And if we go underneath on the roadway, all of a sudden, ah, we're good to go. We're in. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is just a large grass area. It's a little bit unfinished, obviously. I'm not quite sure uh, what the plan was here. It seems like they had a, a bigger plan for this area and just haven't gotten around to it, maybe. But, uh, yeah, you've got a massive amount of land up in here that you can uh, you can farm if you want, but make sure you go underneath the bridge, I suppose. Wow, interesting. Look at that. And once again over here, same same thing. Um, it's just that you cannot get back across the tracks. I tried to go, I think it was right in here, right at the sawmill. See if I can get through over here. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Let's just see what happens if I try to go from the back side here. Yeah, see there's an invisible wall on those tracks that's not going to let you go through. And you can't even walk through them either. You're stuck. So you need to go take that underpass to get up here. Interesting. I do not remember this. Uh, from 17. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Please. Alright, so let's move along and we'll take a look at the rest of this map. And just... So that you are aware, you can purchase this area, and it's about 1.1 million, I believe, the purchase price. And just to compare, let's, uh, you know what, let's take a quick look at some of the other spots here. Like I said, 1.1 million, 1.14 million. Uh, if we wanted to buy, let's say, a normal size field here, or a bigger field. Field 16, you're looking at half a million, so I get 16 and G11 there. Um, 
but if you want this whole area you're going to pay one and one point one point one million bucks so quite a bit of money for this but it's a huge amount of land <laughs> it's absolutely massive but you can see only the one way in one way out everything else it's got an invisible wall all right and look at that like that's a good like a third maybe half the size of the map just that one section very interesting all right so let's continue uh get this up we'll look around we've got our sawmill right up here pretty good uh zoom on down now we're gonna go back into our farm is down on our left this is kind of the uh the main town area at least it, i consider it to be the more the main town area uh, up on the top side here you've got uh used to have the vehicle shop up in this area and it's no longer here we've got a gas station however uh yeah that i could have swore this used to be the vehicle purchase point back where is the vehicle shop that is another good question i get a little, like a little restaurant and stuff up in here i think it's so it looks so good up in here good coast restaurant uh, as we scroll down and below we've got one of our cell points uh if I can zoom out a bit there here we go one of our cell points right in here there you can see that There used to be gates on this one. I remember I got stuck on these a few times coming in on FS17. <laughs> uh, so that's one of the cell points right in there. Uh, what do we got here? We got an animal dealer right in the corner over here, I believe. So, uh, slaughter. Yeah. So this will be animals. Uh, obviously, this will be... I think you can buy animals here, obviously, as well, and sell. All right. And then as we scroll further down, you're going to find... There's our tractor dealership. Now, this is totally different. Yeah, this used to be up on that hillside, like I said. And now, it's down here. That's actually a really good-looking tractor dealership. This John Deere dealership they've put in here. This mod looks... This um, texture looks really good. Oh, look, they even use the shop, the Easy Shed. <laughs> uh, very cool. Broken down trucking behind. And, yeah, it looks great. So, that is the shop. The vehicle shop's down in the bottom corner here. Now we'll spin this around, and as we cross over, you get another vehicle sell or another sell point for your goods, just right on the waterfront here. And once again, we have another paddock, it looks like, down here. Yeah, right down in the corner here. And this must be, yeah, so this is our horse area, guys. So this was added in. Of course, this is all new. Since we didn't have that on our main farm, this is where your horses can go now, if you'd like, so you can purchase this. And turn this into a horse area. I don't think we own that, do we? Let's double check. Uh, no, it does not appear that we own it. Nope, it's not owned right now. So that is uh, it for that. That's your horse area if you so desire. And then the rest is just more fields off on the side. So fairly small size fields. The map itself isn't isn't huge by any means, but there is a level of detail that is not found on many maps here. And all the fields are just kind of a, a different shape. You kind of a, yeah, you got to work them, that's for sure. And then back on the side here, you got a forestry area. Wow, dense forestry area, I should say, too. Look at that. <laughs> that's a lot of trees packed into a small area. And then we're back up on top of that hillside again. Cool. Well, that is about everything we have uh, need to talk about, I think, for old stream, guys really excited this map is finally back out here ah man it's a great map great small map uh yeah good for working if you want to work with some older equipment as well i mean it's kind of designed that way i think the original premise was it was a 1970s style map um oh, I got my truck over here let's go back to the farm there we go <laughs> i don't want to be out in the middle of that field but uh yeah that's that's the whole premise of this so using smaller equipment potentially and uh just really working working the land it looks great though Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for us today. Hope you enjoyed this quick mod map review, or first look, I should say. Uh, really digging this map. Again, it's so good to have it back on FS19. Really plan on digging into this at some point. But, uh, yeah. So, if you enjoyed, guys, make sure you drop a like. If you're not a subscriber, do not forget to subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. This is Clutch. Over and out. Yeah.